Don Nelson here from the Outdoor Line, and uh, one of the true advantages that we have in downrigger fishing available to us is the cannon bottom track feature. And if you get a little closer, I can show you what I'm talking about. There is a transducer hooked up to this downrigger, and you can see the sonar depth on this downrigger says 126 right now, matches up really closely with our electronics, and you can also see that we're we have 113 feet of wire out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit menu. Now I'm going to hit run, and this is going to take my ball right down to the bottom, and I'm figuring five feet of blowback on that. What I mean by that is. The belly and the downrigger cable is probably getting, keeping me five feet off the bottom. So when you're bottom tracking, there's three things you got to keep in mind: the number, the amount of wire you have on your spool, the sensitivity of the unit. In other words, how much bottom has to change before the downrigger changes, and then the distance off bottom or blowback. Once you get used to this feature, it's really easy to use. We're going to hit menu, and then it's going to show minus five feet off bottom. And of course, we can really easily change that up to zero or down to minus seven. We'll run it down to boom. There we go. It hit the bottom a little bit. We'll come up a couple feet, and there we go. Now we'll hit the run button. This unit will now track the bottom and keep that weight six, seven, eight feet back of uh, the numerical depth, keep it right close, and it's been a deadly feature for us. I'm Tom Nelson from the Outdoor Line. It's just another way to put a few more fish in your box.